Rage on that beat, going crazy. Yo what up guys, I'm Sammy and welcome back to the So Brothers channel and this is my first impressions look on the Puma Clyde All Pro. So this shoe is going for 130 bucks. So I believe this is Puma's most expensive basketball shoe. The RS Dreamer was going for 125 and then the Clyde Hardwood is going for 100 bucks. So there, there's like team colorways going for 100 bucks. Uh, I, I believe this was like 120 though, which is interesting. So I guess maybe they lowered their price. Uh, so if you guys do want to cop, I'll leave a link in the description box. I'm super excited about this shoe because it looks like the Clyde Hardwood a little bit, right? Um, uh, the silhouette is pretty damn similar, but it looks like a little bit more of an updated version. The Clyde Hardwood was an incredible performer. I really liked this shoe. Like the materials were super nice. Traction was good. It was just really, really heavy and it was just super caged here in the midsole. Basically the entire midsole besides a little bit of uh, the foam here on the medial side. But as you guys can see here in the All Pro, it's pretty much fully exposed, which we'll get into. Uh, but anyways, let's get to start off with the All Pro Traction. And as far as the pattern goes, here in the ball of your foot, it says Puma. And then you have a little pivot circle. And then the forefoot area basically has like lines that are going perpendicular to each other, kind of like a chessboard, I would say. And then here in the midfoot, we got a Puma logo. And then here in the heel, we got some lines, right? So the traction pattern is looking pretty good. Uh, and as you guys can see here in the heel, the cushion is exposed a little bit. They're calling it a P-Bax, which we'll, we'll get into all of that. Um, but anyways, the bite seems pretty damn good. You know, I'm trying it on my wood floors, it seemed to have a good bite. It's picking up a little bit of dust. Uh, it's getting super dusty in here. I gotta clean my floors a little bit, uh, but it was, it was picking up a little bit of dust. So uh, we'll have to see on that. I'm gonna be playing, or not playing, but just like kind of practicing indoors, you know, uh, at the gym. But I am hopeful. They are saying it's a high abrasion resistant rubber. It doesn't seem like it though, especially here in the forefoot. The rubber is pretty thin and it's very, very soft. So I don't know how the durability is going to be. Yeah, like just, just from a first impression standpoint, it doesn't seem like it's going to be good. They say it's high abrasion, so we'll have to see until the performance review, but the traction pattern is looking pretty damn good. All right, moving on to the heel to toe transition. I absolutely love it here in the shoe. It's insane, right? So here in the heel, it's not that bad. You know, it's a, it has a very, very subtle curve. It's a little bit more edged out, but it's not that bad because there is a lot of heel compression, which we'll get into. So that makes the heel overall like pretty smooth. Not the smoothest I've ever felt, but it's not bad. You know, like in the Why Not 0.2 or the 0.3 where it's like super curved. But I really, really like the curved shape here in the forefoot. Look at that, guys. Look at how much it curves curves up <laughs> it's just insane comparing it to the Clyde Hardwood which actually wasn't even that bad it takes it a step further and feels a, a good amount more angled right so it reminds me a little bit of the LeBron 16 and like once you put a little bit of weight here in your toes it just like rocks forward like this and uh, this shoe I feel like when you play in it like I was walking around in it and uh, it just makes you want to go forward and I really really like that feeling um, I'm not sure about a lot of you guys, but personally for me, it's awesome. And then you have a lot and a lot of forefoot flex. Look at that. So heel to toe transition is looking mighty, mighty fine. As far as the cushioning setup goes, so they're using a full length Pro Foam Plus midsole, which is different from the cushioning setup used in the uh, Clyde Hardwood. It's just Pro Foam. So they, they use Pro Foam Plus in this one. <laughs> so I guess it's a little bit better. They're saying it's a little bit softer and it definitely is. I, I don't know if it's actually softer or it's because it's not caged. But anyways, yeah, so there is a good amount of compression in the heel. It feels nice. It actually feels a lot better than the Clyde Hardwood. I mean, you can feel a little bit of something right underneath your foot, but it's definitely not as nice as the All Pro here. And not only that, but in the heel, you have a P-Bax uh, drop-in mid. So it's not a drop-in though. They, they call it a drop-in in their description, but it's not, you can't really remove it. It's literally just the core, right? So uh, like I mentioned earlier, you can see it exposed here on the bottom of the heel and it looks like Boost. And Puma has the rights to Boost as well. Well, it's not called Boost. You know, Adidas owns Boost. Puma calls it NRG. 
<laughs> um, but it looks very, very similar to Boost and it's a very similar compound and it feels really nice. You know, I can feel it underneath my foot. I don't know if it's that or the insole being nice though. Cause like if you look underneath the insole, the actual strollboard is kind of stiff. So I'm guessing the insole definitely helps with the step and comfort because feeling it, it's actually very nice. It feels like a memory foam. So, I mean, I'm very surprised at the cushioning setup. You know, uh, a lot of, or basically all of Puma's basketball shoes have had really, really stiff cushioning setups, but this one is feeling really, really good. Court feel feels good as well. So I really like the cushioning setup so far. All right, moving on to the materials. They're calling it a Matrix Evo Tech Knit. And it says right here on the medial side of the shoe. So uh, here in the forefoot, basically throughout the entire upper, it's extremely thin. I love how minimal this material is. It's insane how thin it feels. And um, it's literally paper thin, right? So I really like that. It also feels very supportive. It's soft, it conforms to your foot very well. It feels a little bit glued down. Like if you look underneath the material, like here in the midfoot, you can see there is an underlaying material that's kind of like glued, right? So it's, it's kind of like a fuse there. So it feels a little like stiff, just a tiny bit, but it's just so thin that I feel like that doesn't really even matter. <laughs> like, look at this. It's, it's just extremely, extremely soft. It feels incredible on foot. And then not only that, but they actually make the shoe really comfortable by adding a good amount of padding here in the tongue as well as here in the ankle area. And, and that is exactly how I like to have my shoes as far as like the proportions of, I guess, the thickness and comfort of the material in my shoes. I like to have a really thin and minimal material here in the toe and here in the midfoot. And then in the tongue, as well as an ankle area, I like to have a little bit of padding. And um, here in the ankle area, you have a good amount of padding right behind your Achilles, as well as kind of like on the sides of the ankle. That feels great on the ankle and the Achilles. And then the tongue feels great as well. It's basically like a mesh material and it feels very nice and plush. It's an independent tongue though. So uh, there is, it's not, it's not a half booty tongue like we're used to seeing. The Clyde Hardwood was a uh, half booty construction tongue as well. I don't know why they switched it up, but it's not a huge deal. Uh, I just hope that the tongue doesn't move around a lot when I, when I play in it. So the materials are feeling really, really nice. I absolutely love it. Uh, as far as the eyelets go though, I don't really like the eyelets so far. Um, I mean, it's, it's probably because it's not broken in, but um, it, they're using like these little like weird strands as eyelets. It's kind of hard to pull the laces, you know, it kind of gets stuck in place, which I guess is a good thing when you tighten your laces. But right now it's kind of hard to tighten it up. I feel like it'll break in and get a lot easier. And then here in the back of the shoe, you have a Puma logo that's stitched to like this suede material, which doesn't feel bad. As far as the fit goes, I went true to size and it fits me really well. Lengthwise, I was perfect. You know, my toes literally go pretty much right to the edge. Widthwise, I would say it's a normal width, maybe it's slightly narrow. Like for me personally, it's a little snug, but it's not choking my foot out or anything like the KD13s or Kyrie's do. But for the most part, this shoe fits me like a glove. It fits pretty much the same as the Clyde Hardwood. So if you've tried this shoe on, you should get the same exact size as this shoe. All right, as far as the sport and lockdown goes, I feel like it's gonna be awesome. So here in the heel, we have an internal TPU heel counter. <laughs> and if you guys can see, look at how much <laughs> this cushion comes up. Look at this, it just, it's just insane. This midsole is not this thick, guys. <laughs> so uh, that's coming up as a sidewall and extends here all the way into the midfoot. And then here, the rubber kind of comes up as well in the forefoot, so uh, you have a cage as well. And this material seems you know, very supportive. It really has no stretch to it at all. So I feel like lateral containment is going to be good. Uh, it's a pretty wide base. Uh, there is a little bit of an outrigger here in the forefoot. So lateral stability, I feel like is going to be good. So I don't think this shoe is going to have any issues with support or lockdown. All right, moving on to the weight, which is the big thing, right? So the Puma Clyde hardwood was awesome. But of course, like I said, the weight, I, I just want to check it again, like 14. Yeah, 14.67 ounces, guys. So the Clyde All Pro, I'm guessing like 11, dude. It's, it feels super, yeah, so 11.99, so 12 ounces. Now let's check the left pair, 12.06 yeah, ounces. So, uh, I mean, it's definitely way, way lighter than the Clyde Hardwood. And good job to Puma, guys. That's exactly what I said they should have changed in the Clyde Hardwood. And that's exactly what they did, you know, that make it way lighter. They're not using like, you know, old school materials like leather or suede. I guess they are a little bit here in the back, but it doesn't really, that, that, that doesn't really add any weight. 
Uh, they're also not using a crazy amount of plastic and caging and all that, which adds a lot of weight to the shoe. They basically just kept it this midsole. And uh, I believe uh, Pro Foam Plus might even be a lower density foam than the actual Pro Foam used here. So, I mean, yeah, it's, it's one of the most minimal shoes that I felt as recently, you know, like this material is just so thin. <laughs> you guys really, you guys have to try it out. And I'm really liking how it feels on foot. All right, moving on to the aesthetics. I absolutely love it. You know, I, I really like Puma's basketball shoe line because you, it looks like a casual shoe kind of. I really like the pattern on the knit as well. Tell us what you guys think of the aesthetics down in the comment section below. So the Clyde All Pro is looking mighty fine right now. I love how lightweight it feels. And also I feel like support is gonna be really good. Cushion is also an upgrade. Traction is looking real good. Uh, it's a good looking shoe. I, I feel like this is a banger. Of course, as you guys know, I really like this shoe. So if this shoe performs better than this shoe, then I'm really, really gonna like this shoe. You know what I'm saying? Um, but anyways, again, if you guys do want to cop, I'll leave a link in the description box. But my first impressions of the shoe is looking really, really good. But that's it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.